Okay, guys, I'm here today with Jeff Glover. Huge honor for me. Guys, Jeff is going to show us here one of his favorite triangles. And uh, I think this guy doesn't even need introduction, right? I think everyone knows who he is. And uh, I, I love watching jiu-jitsu tournaments, especially when he's competing, because he's always like one of the most enthusiastic athletes competing. You never know what he's going to do. So, and today he's going to show us here one of his favorite triangles from when he started training on the knees. So uh, most of the jiu-jitsu schools everywhere, they start the rows on the knees and he has one triangle right from there. So super excited to learn it. Let's do it. Thank you. Yeah, so basically what I do is I open up. Usually people protect this space, okay? Because of body lock and underhooks. You wanna keep that space or, or, or pummel with it. So what I do is, is I actually open that space because I want him to, to reach and grab for it, okay? So it's the first thing I do is I open it and when he makes his move, now I'm gonna jump. And when you jump, you don't wanna focus on the leg going around the neck. You wanna focus on the leg going on the back and then the leg around the neck, second. You're gonna take a little bit of a fall, but it's not that bad. Let's look at that again. So, so I'm here, we'll shake hands, whatever, and I open it up. And that's the reaction I'm looking for because now I can swing and then boom. And you take a little bit of a fall, but it's not too bad. And then from here, you know, you make the adjustments. Bada bing, bada boom, underhook, squeeze the head, finish that triangle. So Jeff, so you, you pretty much create a trap for our opener, right? So you, you completely open your arms and then my reaction is, is, is to hook under. Yeah, absolutely. By, by opening the underhook, by opening the underhook. So yeah, I have not, nothing else here to do. Mm -hmm. so and then you put swing. your foot on the ground, yeah. your leg hangs on my back. Mm -hmm. One detail is that I go from my knee to my foot. I got it. Right? You don't want to just slide through here. I got it. Okay? It's important that you have a lot of space. So I just come up and now I can jump. And go straight And go right into it. I and then do all the finishing. Got it. Oh, Jeff, I have a quick question. So every time you're competing, you always try this stuff. Like uh, you, you turn backwards to your opponent and that kind of stuff. So. How do you create the confidence to do that? It's, it's actually in the training or in, in the training or like that as well, you turn backwards to your partners and yeah. that kind of, how do, how do you question. risk so much? Like a, I think one of the reasons I'm willing to take risks like that is my confidence with my deep half guard. Whenever something goes bad and you, you, I fail, I try something flashy, I try something unorthodox and it doesn't work and you take my back or you take mount to get a good position, I know that when it goes bad, I can use my deep half guard to escape. I got it. So my confidence with the deep half guard allows me to do yeah. unconventional and, and, stuff. Anything that happens, you believe you're going to be able to bring back to the deep half guard. Well said. I got it. Yeah, yeah that, that's one of the reasons I love half guard so much as well. Because like, uh, for example, if you're a good spider guard and your opponent gets the side control for you to recover or get the mount, mount's the perfect example. If your opponent's on the mount and you have to go to spider guard, it's gonna be a long road. Mm. Half of it, for example, all you need to do is put the so foot closer. inside your legs and no, that 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 was amazing here. And when you start doing deep half guard? Um, I was a blue belt. I, I learned it from Jamalau. And Jamalau yeah. came to America and was teaching it to my teacher, Frangia. So he put it into our system, our little Paragon half guard system. Oh, and yeah. nobody was really doing it. Oh, yeah. Nobody here in America, you know? Yeah. And I had a lot of success with it, and I became so confident with it that I could do stuff like that, like turn my back to you, yeah. or, or you know, oh, give you an underhook. Yeah. Because whenever you know I have my little moves from that, if it falls apart, it's not working anymore. Deep half guard is deep always there for me. I got it. And the, yeah, so we just shot an entire structure all about triangles. So it was triangles from everywhere, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So guys, it's gonna come out very soon on bjfanatics.com. So maybe by the time you're watching, it's already there. And thanks so much, Jeff. <laughs> you, <Bernardo>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, Jeff was actually joking with me, saying that every video I do, I touch the person's leg, and then I didn't even know about it. But then I start paying attention. He was right. <laughs> so, it's cool, Bernardo. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe, and to watch more videos, just click under "See More Videos." I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.